Escape from Edras. Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel STF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andres Norwegian Viking. And while and today we have episode number 221 of the Middle Earth Grand Campaign, and it is Escape from Edros. So Eomer has been banished. Uh, he's making his escape um, with his loyal loyal guard, mm -hmm. um, trying to get to his horses, and Grima, the uh, Conspirator of his uh, his banishment um, has gathered some thugs to try to stop him and kill him. Well, at least kill his horses yes. um, to to prevent his escape. Mm. So this is an interesting scenario. Uh, I feel it's from uh, Battle Games Middle Earth number sixty-four. 64. Yeah, uh, one of the later um, mm. Battle Games Middle Earth, which has loads of cool scenarios in them. Uh, the late ones. But this one sees the good side uh, severely outnumbered. Yeah. You have six warriors of Rohan, which can be become riders of Rohan mm -hmm. eventually, and Eomer, all on foot at the table edge. Yes. There's a stable in the middle, and, um, and they have to get inside the stable, mount up using the jump rules, uh, and then make at least Eomer must make his escape off the table edge mm -hmm. opposite the uh, the stable. But I have Grima Wormtongue, mm -hmm. a thug leader, which is basically just a captain profile. Yep. Eight thugs with bows and eight thugs with throwing spares. Yeah. That is a lot of loads lot of models. models. And if I can get Grima within six inches of armor, he will have to spend two points of might to do anything. Yeah. So. Yeah, if I can make him spend like one, which becomes two, then he's basically neutered as because hmm. he can't do anything with his final point. Hmm. So yeah, very interesting scenario. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I don't feel very confident to be honest. No, 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 no. But it'll, well, we'll see. Hmm. We'll see what happens. So <clears throat> we're we're playing with a stable that's not exactly the same dimensions mm. uh, as the the one described in scenarios it's a bit smaller but i think it'll be it'll be yeah, fine i don't think it matters too uh, much. also the stable doors are counted as being open mm. so for the sake of brevity we'll just you know we'll just um count as that you can see through yeah. uh, through the the stable and the building so that things are a bit easier mm. uh for that so yeah um, good luck. Good luck. Think you're gonna need yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and let's come back with our board and the armies after this. Theoden in the Thrall of Saruman, the King's advisor Grima Wormtongue controls the court at Edras. Whispering his poisonous words into the King's ear, Grima works to weaken Rohan for his master, preparing it for conquest. The fiercely loyal Marshal, Eomer, is the first to speak out against the lies and deceit of Grima. However, his open distrust of the advisor, as well as suspicions about Grima's allegiance with Saruman, leads him to be banished from Edras. Eomer then sets out from the city to gather his men, preparing to defend the kingdom against the marauding forces of Isengard. Eomer must escape from Edras to rally support against Saruman's invasion. However, filled with deep hatred for the marshal, Grima has decided that Eomer should not leave the city alive, 
and has conspired with a group of thugs to murder him. And so begins the battle. Eomer is outlawed by King Theoden. By word of Grima Wormtongue, he and his men have been outlawed inside the kingdom of Rohan. But there are those who support him, amongst them the people of this small village. They've supplied him with fresh horses which now wait inside the stable. Disregard that these models are mounted. Because here is Eomer and his men racing towards the, uh, the stable uh, after a previous mount was killed and ambushed by the Urukai. Opposing them is Grima and his thugs. We have a thug leader over here as well as uh, eight with bows and eight with spears. Um, they are to kill or suppress the riders as they make their escape. To win, Wyle has to mount the horses inside the stable and get at least Aomer towards this table edge whilst still mounted. So if I can manage to kill all the horses, it's an evil victory. So, good luck Wyle. Good luck Andreas. And uh, let's come back after movement. After movement, the forces of Aomer has moved up, inching ever so closely towards the uh, the stable. The evil forces are split up with a thug leader taking the throwing spear armed uh, thugs on this side whilst Grima hiding behind the uh, the building here is leading the uh, the thugs with bows. No shooting so go straight into priority for turn two. Goes to good. Aimer seems to be two turns from entering the stable as his men rush up. With now opposition revealed, we have the bowmen here readying to take aim for next turn. They move too far for this turn, with Grima whispering in the background. The thug leader has inched uh, around the house, uh, trying to take, take them out as they exit the building on their horses. So, priority for turn three goes to, uh, to evil. Uh, of course, there is no marching in this game, so I guess we'll just move on. With a whisper from Grima, the bow-armed thugs will now be shooting at the warriors on the opposite side. Um, they do have a normal shoot value of 4+, plus, so I'm just shooting at the normal, normal warriors in the front there. Uh, I should have clear shots at at least three of them. So that's five hits. Needing sixes though. That's two. So two of the warriors of Rohan fall to the ground, clutching their wounds. Priority goes to me. Emer has now moved into the stable. One of the warriors of Rohan have now mounted up and is now a fully fledged uh, rider of Rohan with bow and everything. Uh, and one of them is also inside. The thugs are moving on and there are two of Eomer's guards just outside the building who will now face a flurry of arrows and throwing spears against him. So uh, let's see, we have eight arrows on those two. Oh, Jesus. Uh, six is to wound. One of them goes down, and then I only have one, two, three throwing spares because the rest mm. have blocked line of sight. So, two hits, nothing. Okay, priority goes to me. <laughs> so, I can't get out of the stable. Well. That seems harsh. We'll move and we'll come back. With Eomer calling a heroic move, because that's the only solution we had <laughs> to the problem, um, three of the riders, well, the three remaining warriors have now mounted their horses and Eomer has mounted his horse. Outside, there is now a firing squad uh, aiming at the door. The thug leader is shouting to the inside to make the Aimer and his guards surrender. 
but will they? We will now roll for priority for turn something. And it goes to evil. But that's good for you because yeah, yeah. So yeah, they they'll just stand there and be charged. They yep, yeah, because I can't do anything else. No. Yeah. Well, you could go into the stables and start slaughtering. If I go into the stables, there. you'll charge me from three sides. So no, I will not do that. I'll I'll stand there and take my chances. Yeah, models outside we can remove. The foot model. Throwing spare. Yeah. Miss. I'll go into both. Mm -hmm. For for no particular reason. Gain okay, next range. Gotta take the um, the captain. I don't really like that. We can charge armor on the captain afterwards. Yeah. yeah. So throwing spare, I need to take the captain first. Yeah. No nope. mist. And then we have three spare horses inside. And then Aylmer charges my captain. But I'm considered evil. So I can shoot into combat. Can I? Yeah, I can. Uh, so, uh, we'll shoot this one into combat with Elmer. Hits. Hits Elmer. Hits the horse. Doesn't kill the horse. Does he have armored horse? Um, why not? <laughs> it doesn't say. It looks but like it. it. We have an armored model, so that's fine. Next one up, same target. Miss. Next one up. Miss. Um, he has a line of sight. Uh, hits. Uh, hits Elmer. Hits Elmer. And doesn't wound Elmer. Uh, last one with throwing spare. Hits. Hits me. And doesn't kill me. Do I just unleash a wall here? You have six guys that can fire at Elmer. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Uh, two hits. Uh, both on Elmer. One on this horse. Wounds this horse. So Elmer has to go inside and get a new horse. Um, and uh, no, no wound on Elmer. Throne rider. Yep. He's fine. So he can fight. <coughs> you don't. You don't have to be in base contact for this fight to still go off. Okay. So you just so stand where you were. So that's the 40 inch, yeah. 40, 40 mil base. Mm -hmm. So combat. Yep. <laughs> Roy combat so I can get inside and get a horse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you within six inches of Grima? Probably. But because uh, that then it yeah. would yeah, because so then no. it costs you two might. So I will not. So. I will no. not do that. And also, it's not a guaranteed kill. That's true. Because uh, it's a captain, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, or a thug three. leader, that's no captain of Rohan. But you do have... Um, yeah, Elmer has two attacks. Yeah. So he charged, but he loses the charge. Loses, loses his charge wounds. There's no horse there. Oh, that's a poor roll. Yeah, so the third so, leader wins. Yeah. Um, push him into the stables. No, no, no pushing now. <laughs> you don't push now because you were already outside one. Oh, okay. One model, I believe. Let's see if we can kill. No, that wins. You have deep on seven. So. No. This one. Yeah. You charged. You win. Knocks prone. Kills. kills. Uh, you charge there as well. Uh, kills him. Last fight. Oh, damn it. Again. And kills. So the warriors did all right. The warriors did all right. Okay. But I need to get Aomer out with a horse. Yep. Can I dismount and. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. You but can. I, I still need to get him out of there. 
Yeah, but you can. Mm, priority. Yeah. It goes to you. Yes, you, it does. I had it last. So, Elmer goes inside. Jump test. Uh, so he fails the jump test. But he, he but can he use a point of a might. A point of might to make and it. At that point, it will be way outside six inches of green. So yeah. So it's fine. So we could jump to this. Mm -hmm. Elmer is now mounted. Again. Again. And put. He carried the barding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, guys. So you need to kill every horse. Yeah. But I only need to get Elmer out. Yeah. So I I just need to continue slaughtering. Mm -hmm. Rohan. Thugs. Yeah. Punks. Like so. Mm -hmm. Throwing spare at into the, the captain. Yeah. Or the thug leader. Throwing spare first, maybe. I was also thinking because I could get. Yeah, you can get there. So, but you'll get swamp me. But yes, come on. What is? You get your charge bonus at least. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I need that. So throwing spare into combat because why not? Hits, hits me, kills me. So we just exchange because this model for another. Because that's why. Because that's why. Throwing spare uh, into combat. Throwing combats. spare into combat. Need to take out your horses, man. Hits. Hits. Hits you. me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> wow. Real thugs of Rohan. Oh, no. All right, let's get this guy in there. This guy in there. And I can't get in more, so we'll move. Three inches. Is this why you had so many models? Maybe. Quite possibly. Because <laughs> it felt, felt very weird. Like, Yeah, you. I have like three times as many models as you. Yeah. All right, combat. Um, Over there, yeah. And yep, yeah, kills him. The horse or rider? Uh, the horse actually stays. Because uh, I killed the rider. So that's a horse that stays. Mm -hmm. So we'll put a white die on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, over there. Uh, I have a captain. Uh, with oh, the. Fight four. Is he fight four? Yeah. Yeah, he is. So I win that one. Uh, still on a five though. So captain. Nope. Captain. Yeah. And the horse for the last one. Nope. So the horse lives. And then your final warrior. You win. No, it's a draw. Goes to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, rider, rider, rider. No. So it lives. Priority. Mm -hmm. You get it. So these just stay? Yeah, the horses just stay there. Can I charge Grima? No. No, well, yeah, you can charge Grima, but you can't uh, strike blows against him. Okay. But that means you have to shoot into combat to kill his horse. And then maybe kill Grima yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't do that, so. Uh, throwing spare hits. No. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, it's, can I? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I can get a charge in. That's everything I can get. This guy's continuing up three inches. 
these guys go six inches up to there. And then we'll go six inches there. Would the horses just stay? Like, do we roll for control for them? No, I think they just stay there <clears throat> as counters. Like, yeah. Okay. okay, two throwing spares into combat with armor. Miss. Six bow shots into combat with armor. Three hits. This is where I kill my own captain. Uh, two hits, armor. One on the captain, my captain. Wound on the captain. I'll take that wound. How many wounds does he have? Two. It, is it, yeah, so he's a captain. Yeah, he's like a captain profile. On to armor. Both hit armor, so that's good for you. Uh, one wound on uh, armor. Yep. It's defense seven. Mm. He'll take it. Yep. No, it's by six. No, no wound on armor. Strength two, defense six, seven. Combat. Yeah, which one first? Uh, we can take this one. Mm -hmm. I charge. You win. Kill him. him. And then my captain. Have to fight it. You win. You have a higher fight. You charge, so. Uh, ooh, wound. wound. Um, fate. Mm, point of might. Yeah, so he's out of might, out of. Uh, fate, one wound left. Correct. Priority. Mm -hmm. Just me. Um, I need to spend the <laughs> remaining two points of might on Elmer. He's just in. Yeah. Yeah. So to call a heroic combat. A heroic move. move. Yep. So Elmer is now out of might. But he can now escape. Uh, did he call with me? No. Oh. Well, yeah, he could have. No, because he's he's outside. Yeah, yeah. So it's you. Mm -hmm. So six inches. Should be within eight now, possibly. Uh, Grima follows. Yeah, so you have one guy that can throw a spare within in the way. There we go. Now I have to kill all the horses. So these guys go into the stable. Don't you just have to kill me? All of, oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I have yeah, to kill all the horses. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I have two throwing weapons onto Aimer. No, with just one. One? Okay. Yeah. So one throwing weapon onto Aimer within the way. He missed. And then we have a combat here. We win. Can we take the last rider out? Yes, we do. Uh, the horse. Uh, nope. Horse. Nope. Horse. Nope. So the horse is still there. There's three horses. Yes. Yeah. So I have no riders left. And over here, we have a combat against the horse. Two warriors. We win. Horse is trapped. Horse is still alive. Do you need fives? Yeah. Defense four. Priority then. Mm -hmm. You get it. Just there. I can't. I can't possibly get up there. Uh, See, so we'll just have to move up for next turn. Because if I can get Elmer off his horse, he'll have to come and collect one of these horses. <laughs> And then the other guy goes on the other horse, so there's one on one combats on these two horses. Mm -hmm. And then I have two shots onto armor in the way for three. One hits. Goes through. Hits armor. Damn it. No wound. Mm. 
uh, combat. So the horse has the uh, fight value one, so I win. And the horse is dead. Uh, next combat. Horse is dead. Cool, slaughtering horses. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Grim as a stupid. Well. Mm. Right. Priority? Yeah. It doesn't matter that much. No, I get it. You are unable to reach me. I am. These guys move three. These guys move three. And this guy moves three, and this guy moves three. And then he just moves as close as possible, and these guys follow. Oh, it's going to be so fun when I kill your horse now. <laughs> that will end the game. <laughs> no, because there's three more horses. But, um, no. Can you measure his range towards him? So he charges this guy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can get him. Okay, so I have five. Can he, he see yeah. you clearly? Yep. Yeah. So I have six shots at Delmer. Three hits. All hit, Elmer. Mm. One possible wound. No wound. Priority. Oh. And Elmer is gone. That was my one shot. Oh. Thanks, Thanks for, for the game. game. <laughs> Let's come back with our thoughts on this scenario in the post-battle batter breakdown. So welcome back to the post-battle batter breakdown. And you did it. Yeah. You well, got Aomer out. It was a hard fought victory. It was. It was the second thing. horse. So not his... Um, yeah, not his proper horse. Uh, I think it says on the next page. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is really good yeah. content. This. The name of his horse was here somewhere. Um, it was here somewhere. But it was sadly slain. It was, yes. Um, so, yeah, it it was a cool scenario, though. Yeah, it was. I, yeah. Um, I might have been a bit gung-ho shooting into my own combats. <laughs> you killed... Three guys with throwing spares with your own throwing spares, or two. Two, yeah. I think. I I had one that failed to wound yeah. you, and then one more, and then one more, and yeah. they killed each yeah. other. Yeah. I didn't mind that. No, I, I guess you didn't. But yeah, I managed to take down uh, take down Elmer's horse early on, and then he had to go inside and get another one. Mm. But yeah. You actually did escape, so that's cool. We we did have to adjust some rules on the fly to accommodate like size of the building and stuff like that. But it's fine to play with yeah. whatever model you you want. Yeah. I guess you could say that you could like if you don't have an open building as we had, you can also uh, you can also make it so that they had to spend a turn or something inside. Yeah. Mm. But there is a handy guide how to make Smart your own stable, yeah. or you could now just use the uh, the plastic kits. Yeah, from Games Workshop, uh, which are pretty pretty nice. They are pretty awesome. So you can make a big stable from that as well. I think. Mm. <clears throat> right. So that was this week. That was this week. Next week we'll have a giant of a scenario. Uh, it will feature over, I think, over a hundred models. Is it? Yeah. It's it number two twenty-two yeah. cross crossing the Eisen. Yeah, it's Aomer. Oh, that's the next one. No, it's just it's the one above. There we go. Twenty-four riders one. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're on the wrong tab. 
So it's Aomer, Captain, 24 Riders, and 60 Urukai, and 3 Berserkers, and 2 Captains. So again, you'll be outnumbered. Yeah. This, uh, this Rohan part feels like a struggle. Well, they do struggle. Yeah. They are the underdogs yeah, yeah. in this. They have to get aid from Gondor. Yeah. Eventually. Mm. But yeah, we'll see you next week for that. Until then, I've been Andreas the Legion Viking. A while. And please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Please consider supporting us on Patreon using the links in the description below. It's a great way for you to support what we do here at the studio and keeps the lights going. So thank you very, very much to all our past, present, and future Patreons. And as always, support your hobby.